Hey everyone, welcome back to DT Model Art Channel. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button, mash the like button. I really appreciate it and thank you for your support. Um, welcome to part seven, or at least the beginning of that, of, uh, of the SF70H 2017 car that was driven by Sebastian Vettel. Uh, it's a beautiful 120 scale kit by Tamiya. And our next step in the process. I've pre-made or pre-assembled some of the uh, smaller wing pieces, these right here. These are going to be uh, primed, based, and painted in all of my Gravity Colors um, paints that I have here. The primer, white base coat to keep the red nice and bright, and then of course the uh, Ferrari F1 Rosso SF70H paint. Then I'm going to clear coat those with two-part urethane clear. Now before I do that and get into all that, um, oh by the way I've also got uh, this piece all set and ready to go, ready to be primed. A lot of pre-assembly was done and all of this, just so you guys know, was assembled with the Tamiya Extra Thin Cement. If you don't use this, I strongly encourage you to do it. It's great stuff. Um, I've also started looking at this piece here which is the uh, the under tray or the under wing of the car and I've noticed there's uh, especially on the top here we got a lot of molding release holes and such that we need to get rid of uh, there's another name for these and I, it escapes me right now I don't know why uh, but anyways we're going to need to get rid of those because even though there's decals that go over this that are supplied by Tamiya, I believe they're going to show through a little bit and we want to make sure we get rid of those. So we're going to lightly sand those off with 320 followed with some fine scotch bright gray pad to smooth it out and then this is going to get primed in the gravity colors gray and I'm going to shoot the under tray with a semi-gloss black made by a company called SEMs or SEM. Now it's in a bottle, it's in an old Gravity Color bottle just because it was uh, it was available but this is not Gravity Colors or supplied by them. Um, you're gonna, if you, if you want to buy the SEM semi-gloss black you're gonna have to get that from um, from them themselves or you can get, a, get it off of eBay. I bought a quarter of it for like I think 20 bucks. You mix it with a little bit of reducer. You can use I wouldn't use lacquer thinner because it might flash off and be, and, and be a little too flat for you. Um, but you can use any kind of high quality uh, reducer or, uh, or thinner for urethanes or uh, acrylic enamels. A high quality lacquer thinner might work. But I use uh, I just use some shop line uh, urethane reducer that I use to thin my clears with in my base coats and it works real well. So that's what this is going to get based in after it's primed. You have to prime it because that SEM is a little bit hot and it will bite into the plastic and you don't want that to happen. Then we're going to decal this and then we're going to mask it off and shoot the bottom piece here which is the plank. Um, we're going to go ahead and shoot that in a wood color like they say in the instructions so um, we're going to get that done as well. So I got a lot in store here on this episode and the next episode everyone so we're going to get going on it um, but the first step before we do any of this painting that you see here is we're going to sit down now and we're going to mask off the front monocoat that I've already got done and it's ready to roll. We're going to pop the seat out because the seat's not in there permanently yet as I told you in the last video and we're going to take the Gravity Colors pre-cut paint masks and use the pieces off of here that they provide to mask off the sides and shoot the bottom of this in that same SEM black that I am going to do the under tray with. So next step now is to get this thing masked off, so let's get it done.
So here we are back at the bench after spraying that thing down. Um, I will tell you, the uh, the sem, semi-gloss black, not good. Um, I've used it many a times before, but I think my problem is, and I know I said this in one of my previous videos, and I'm going to retract my statement, you can't use any high-quality lacquer thinner or uh, reducer. I have used it in the past and had luck, but I don't know what's going on. I don't know if because I'm in Florida. It's very humid. It's uh, humid in my garage, even though I have an AC unit out here. It uh, started to spray out and become stringy, and I stopped right away. You, you saw in the video when I was spraying, and I switched up and uh, used something else. And what I used is <clears throat> exactly what I told you in the uh, caption, is the Mission Models, and uh, all the information on the the uh, thinning it, uh, thinning it, how many drops to use, and all that. Per the instructions from Mission Models from John Tampkin, I uh, I went that route, and it worked out pretty well from what I can see. So let's reveal, shall we, how this came out. Okay, so, not bad. A couple spots that I'm going to need to do some touch-up on, but uh, for the most part, the Tamiya masking really worked out well. Totally adds a new look to the car, everyone. That's some nice stuff right there. I'm real happy with, it, with the way it came out. So, that's going to end this video. Next video, we're going to be painting a lot of things in bulk. Like I showed you before, the uh, you know the rear tail here, uh, the lower under tray, the small winglets for the side. We got to get them in in gravity primer, white base coat, and red, and then clear. And then we got to do some fine masking on those pieces as well, and paint some of those parts semi gloss black, like I did on this. So I'm going to do a few touch ups on this uh, after I end the video, and. Uh, for the most part, we can put the seat in, get the steering wheel in the interior, and we can button the interior up. And this whole front monocoat is pretty much done except for the front wing, which is a whole different separate model in itself. So anyhow, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And please subscribe to my channel. Hit the smash the uh, like button. And I'll see you next time.